Welcome back. So if you're just, oh my God, where do I even begin? I don't even know where to start. If you're just joining my channel, first of all, thank you. Once you start, I hope you won't be able to stop. I want to make videos and do all these things and record this stuff because it's unbelievable. I have absolutely no idea what I get myself into and I have so much fun doing it and I hope other people have joy in watching it. And you know, if you don't, I mean, I'm gonna say what I always say, just go ahead and click out of the video to a trip in New York City and I'm working on an app and I went and hung out with our coder and the creator of the app. Our trip was almost ending and I got an opportunity out in LA. So the next day, I would land in Houston and fly out to LA and I did so. And so I was barely home in Houston and I was like, you know what, we're gonna take these opportunities. And I stayed in LA for about, I don't even know, time is not even real, it's a man-made thing. Two to three weeks, I suppose. I had to come back to Houston just to move my stuff out. And so I, for some reason, I never sleep, like my life is, I'm just so excited about it. There's always things to do. So with that being said, I hadn't slept, and so I'm like, okay, it's fine. I'll just sleep on the plane. No big deal. I didn't really get sleep on the plane because I don't know. It just wasn't enough. It was like a two-hour flight. <sighs> so I get to Houston. I don't even know if this makes sense to people. I get to Houston. I pack up my whole car, and I'm like, you know, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? You know, the question we ask ourselves every day. So my one of my really good friends, Kelly, she kind of has the same mindset as me. We kind of just go. We just do. And I like that. So I kind of just packed up my car and we drove until we saw the ocean. I recommend that you personally drive until you see the ocean. And if you, I could not imagine living a life that I hated. I found exactly what I love in my life and I do exactly that and I understand there's like stepping stones whatever but work hard and make find what you love and make a career out of it or just invest time into that just do it mm, that's all you have to do you just have to kind of take those leaps for yourself ask yourself who you're getting advice from and make sure they're not a hater make sure that they're living the life that you want to live for example if i were to ask i want advice from oprah winfrey i want advice from elon musk i want advice from barack obama i want advice from them and i was asking people and i was searching for this answer and i was feeling so empty after asking them i'm like because i'm not asking the right people first of all i don't need anyone's opinion or their I was searching for I was searching and I always felt so empty and it's like you just need to quarantine yourself and ask yourself what life you want to live and then pack your car up and drive to the ocean and we'll just do whatever you want to do and let's get to chasing your dreams and don't take no for an answer if there isn't a way create one anyways I hope my <laughs> crazy story made sense but you'll see I moved and and I'm existing and if you're not living the life that you absolutely are infatuated with, it's just harder. I hope you enjoy. So, Kelly and I just packed up the whole apartment and stuffed it all into our cars and we're about to drive 17 hours to Florida. It's been such an honor to be a citizen of the United States of Houston. Love the magic of new beginnings. I wish I had like a little holder. I'm going to take you along with me on this drive where we're passing through many states and I'm going to keep you updated. I mean, nobody asked, but I'm going to keep you updated on this journey and I can't wait to share it with you all or at least share it with myself one day looking back. Oh, good. You can't tell, but. Oh, you can tell. Oh my god, who do I think I am packing all of this? We're so excited, we can't wait. We just gotta do it. It's been real and it's been fun. Wait, what's like an H-Town saying? Bye, Felicia. I'm so high even when I'm coming down. Just met a girl, say she from the H-Town. We are officially driving and Kelly already made me run my first red light because I have to follow her. Just a little bit. We have not gone to bed. 
Okay. We haven't slept in like 24 hours. It's currently 6.20 in the morning. And I just keep getting scarier. Kelly's just resting in her car, but my insomnia never fails, so. Oh my god, Miss Keisha, this mosquito out here is trying to come in my blood. I am so passionate, no wonder I attract these blood suckers. Or maybe it's my blood. Stay tuned. Y'all are probably like watching this and saying, like, get this girl some conditioner. And you know what? I am free. We should stay up all night and watch the sky change colors. Or wake up early enough to see the sunrise because it's so beautiful. Update, I have not slept, but you know, Kelly took a nap and I'm so happy for her, but you know, sometimes you always wear your seatbelt, but you don't go to sleep. Hello, we're not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the meeting. We'll return your call. What are you waiting for? Mom, I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm moving to Miami. Do it! Even when the light shines, all I know